And our final testimony is coming from my brother Christian from the prestigious Anakazo Bible and Ministry Training Center. Christian, what has God done? I want to thank God for what he has done when I went during the vacation to Benin. He raised a debt when I went during that vacation. He said he wants to thank God for what he did when he went home during the vacation. And what did God do? On 30th December. He said God did what? He raised the debt? Yes, please. He raised the debt when he went home for vacation? Yes, please. Okay, tell us about it. Is that how you respond to the debt be raised? Is that how you respond to the debt be raised? Give the Lord a shout of praise. Please tell us, tell us, tell us. How did it happen? On 30th December. 30th of December? Yes, please. In Benin? Yes, please. Where in Benin? Paraku. Paraku. Yes, what happened there? On 30th, I was in the church with uh, some of the shepherds. We are about to go for evangelism. Evangelism. Yes, and what happened? She's our church member. She came in with the dead body. She walked into the church with the dead body. Yes, please. And what did she use? So what happened? What happened when, the, when, when she gave the dead body to you? When she gave me the dead body, I put her on my chest. You put the... The dead child on your chest? Yes, please. Uh, and I called, I pray a certain prayer within me. What prayer did you pray? I said, the Lord of my father, Bishop Dagwa. The God of my father, Bishop Dagwa Mills. The God of my father, Bishop Dagwa Mills. How many of you know that a dead body is beyond you? You have to call on the God of your father. He said, the God of my father, Bishop Dagwa Mills. And what happened? And, and, and what else did you say? And I said, the God of my father, Bishop Dagwan Miss, who raised the dead in Colombia. He raised the dead in Colombia. Yes. And what's again? The dead in Philippines. He will perform that same miracle in Benin. He will perform that same miracle in Benin. And as what's happening after that? I finished praying. You finished prayer, praying. Something coming out or came out from my stomach. Something came out of your stomach. And entry. Just breathing. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Listen, listen, Christian. What is dead from the hospital? Yes, please. And where, uh, where, and where else did they take the child? And the parent brought their daughter back home. So uh, the father started doing uh, those preparation for the burial of the. They started a funeral rites on the child. The father even took the, the, the his daughter, buffing her with those leaves that they used to bury the bury the dead body. So. Uh, that woman who brought her to church, she was the auntie to the child. Okay, and she said she will not allow it. And she said, I won't allow this. And she carried the dead body. And she carried the dead and body. brought them to? Straight to church. To a son of the prophet. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Kabosha. He said, the God of my father, Bishop Dagewan Mills, who raised the dead in Colombia, who raised the dead in Philippines, will perform this miracle in Beni Paraku. He will perform it in your life too. Give the Lord a shout of praise. Christian, so what do you have to tell everybody who is here? I want to tell everyone here to stay connected to our bishop. Stay connected to our prophet. Stay connected to everything that he's doing. And I believe that if we really believe in the words and the prayer of our prophet, we will do more. Oh, why don't you put your hands together? You are looking at the latest raiser of the dead. Put your hands together for a powerful testimony. This year, every death thing in your life is coming to coming back to life in the name of Jesus. The God of your father will perform miracles in the name of Jesus. Today, there are going to be a lot of words spoken. A lot of words are going to be spoken under the anointing. And the prophecy possesses power to make it come to pass. Receive it in the name of Jesus.